It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat Disabato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat Disabato from the Daily Southtown newspaper. And we are at Hillcrest High School, home of the Hawks. The 4-0 Hawks. How about that, folks? 1-44 uh, the previous five seasons, and now they're 4-0. Not only in a varsity, they're 4-0 on the sophomore and freshman level as well. And much of that success can be attributed to first-year coach Marquise Cole. Uh, Marquise spent seven seasons in the NFL, played for the Broncos, Patriots, Jets, among some other teams, uh, DB. And he's a 2002 Hillcrest grad. So this is where his heart is. He has caused a, a, a tidal wave of excitement and uh, turned this program around, man, in a very short period of time. So we're going to talk to Marquise about everything, uh, what's going on here at Hillcrest, all the positive things. And we're also going to have on junior running back Marcus Garrett uh, as our guest as well. And, and Marcus also plays some hoops for Coach Don Houston's uh, Hillcrest Hawk squad as well. All right, folks, we are going to go to a beggar's pizza Time out. Remember, beggarspizza.com. Join the Big Cheese Club. You get all kinds of uh, discounts and, you know, Big Cheese Club wear, beggars wear, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, jump on board. All right, folks, we come back. Hillcrest football coach Mark Lees Cole will be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, -hmm. just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. At Standard Bank, we help our neighbors make tomorrow brighter. Families count on us for personal service and banking convenience. Business owners find smart solutions and the resources to capitalize on new opportunities. It's one thing to locate in a community, quite another to invest in it. That's what we do at Standard Bank. We're people you know. Services that make your life easier and financial strength you can count on. We're Standard Bank, in your neighborhood. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Our first guest tonight, Hillcrest football coach Marquise Cole. Marquise, thanks for coming on board, my man. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. You know, how, you know, first year on the job and you're on the show, man. That's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Four and zero start. You're making this look easy. You're making this look easy. This coaching thing. So, how does a team go from one and forty-four the past five seasons to four and zero in your first year? Uh, you work harder. You know, you work harder, you uh, instill more discipline in the kids, uh, hold them accountable for all their actions. So then they hold themselves accountable and their the other teammates accountable. And I mean, you bring that all together and you win games. Yep. Well, I know you wouldn't have accepted this job if you didn't think you'd be able to turn this program around. You're a confident guy, you played here, you had success here, you know, seven years in the NFL. Um, but did you, are you surprised at all, man, that you guys are playing this well right out of the gate? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. Uh, I, I've always been around the program, you know, since I left the college and everything, I've always been around. And I know the kids that are here, you know, even before I took the job, I was always here helping out and doing this and that. And I know the athletes are in the building, so I knew it would be e not easy to turn it around, but it wouldn't be as hard as people would think it is, you know. They, they want state, yep. track, basketball, you know, so the athletes are there. It's just the discipline that they had in those other sports weren't in the football program for whatever reason. Yep. And I knew just bringing that in and instilling that in these kids, they would do wonders. 
Well, uh, numbers are up, man. You got to have depth, you know, and, and you guys up and down this program right now, you guys are 4-0, freshman, sophomore, and varsity. What has been the key, though, to get these kids to come on out and believe in this program? Uh, I think that accountability in these kids, you know, uh, it's that structure is something kids need, you know, and um, they might think that they want to just freelance and do whatever, but when you don't get any results and, you know, grades are slipping, attendance is bad. Yeah. It's not as fun as you think it would be, you know. So when they see that uh, being stru that structure being there, and won't I won't waver at all, you know. So I'm not like uh, you did this. You was only two minutes late. That none of that matters to me. Uh, they buy into it, you know. Especially when you see, okay, you win a game, and then you win another game, and then you win another game, and then they start buying in, and more and more kids come out, and more and more kids in the building just start to listen, you know. And, it just helps the building get better. Yeah. Well, I remember when I came by here in, uh, in the summer when you when you got the job when it was announced, and you know there was a ton of kids out in the weight room, and you know and the one thing I noticed too, you know, kids, you know, are, are maybe test you a little bit, man, but all you had to do was give them a stare, and, and they were on lockdown, yeah. man. That was it. Yeah. I mean, that's just a level of respect. I, I've never been like a disrespectful guy or anything like that, and you know, um, when you just demand respect, you don't have to tell people I demand respect. Like, right. My presence is that of like. I'm not going to disrespect you, so you're definitely not going to disrespect me. And, you know, the kid, like I say, those kids just buy in. It's like a father figure type thing where they respect me, but then they don't want to disappoint me, you know, and yeah. stuff like It's like a father figure, big brother type thing. And, I mean, the kids has been awesome. So. Yeah. Well, is it more gratifying for you knowing that th this is the place that, you know, uh, you played at and, and the fact that they had been struggling for a number of years? Are you you're taking a little bit of extra pride and gratification? Definitely. Going for and definitely. Definitely. Uh, and I think that's why, you know, I wasn't like a really troubled youth or anything like that, but I had my issues and everything like that. And I know what the program did for me yeah. and the building did for me and people in the building did for me. So. I knew if I could come back and give a tenth of that to one of these kids out here, it would be gigantic, you know. So to come out here and, you know, all these kids gravitate towards me and I can help them out, not only on the football field, but in the classrooms and off the field. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything more than that. Yep. Uh, now that you've been in this thing for, for a few months, what has been the biggest surprise uh, being a high school football coach and what has been the most fun? What have you gotten the most enjoyment out of so far? Uh, I think the entire experience, when those kids got their first win, they were like explosive and I'm looking like, I mean, we won the game, which is great, but I'm like, yeah, we won the game. Like I expected, expected to win. It, right. Yeah, but they like, man, we haven't won a game in so long. And then we won that, that other game, second game, 50 to zero. And one of the kids said, man, I don't think we scored 50 points all last season. Yeah. So, I mean, just to see that on them kids and then each week they're like, I want to go harder because I want to feel that again, you know? So. That's been the best, the best feeling to see these kids enjoying themselves again, yep. playing football. Well, you know, it, it wasn't that long ago that you were one of these kids, man. You're only 31 years old, yeah. so you're talking 13 years ago. Um, do you see that the kids are different now than back when you were playing? Do you sense anything different? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these kids are definitely different than. Uh, In what way? What? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was way more sports oriented like these kids like playing sports and everything but like I understood football when I got to high school I understood cover two cover three yeah. cover one you know things like that a gap b gap you know things like that I understood that coming into school and like I'm talking to juniors that's literally a guy on our team I'm like yo the tight end do this and he's like What's all right and he's like <laughs> like the tight end next to the tackle that guy with his hand in the dirt so, you know, that is just different. But that same guy is one of the best athletes on the team. He just, yeah. he just got away with just being way more athletic than people, you know, his whole life. So he's never really learned the game of football. So I think that's one of the biggest differences And when I was here, you know, me and some of the coaches and the kids now. It's like we were really sports oriented. Yeah. So we understood things. Like you asked them about LSU or something, they're like, oh, no. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Because it's, it's not that long ago, no, man. You know, it's no. not that long ago. Um, Obviously, with the success the, the, at the lower levels, man, do you think that you can just keep this thing moving? I'm not saying you're going nine and zero every year or whatever, but do you think you guys can be a playoff uh, caliber team every year, Marquise? From what you see on the lower levels, man, we just try to win one game. <laughs> That's it. We just try to. You've like, only been a coach for a couple months. Uh, you that coach speak. <laughs> I, I played under Belichick. I understand how. I understand how this goes. Yeah. But all oh, these guys are running. But uh, yeah, um, seriously, like. 
literally, I don't know who we play next week. You know, I'm just so uh, focused in on this this week's game that this is all that matters right now. It's winning yep. this week's game. Um, all right, so I, I think this is probably the biggest test for you this week, and it just so happens to be my alma mater. Eisenhower is mm -hmm. my alma mater. Um, they're coming here. Uh, they're three and one. You guys are four, four and zero. Oh. Um, your kids ready for this challenge? Because from here on out, I think it's definitely these are big games, man. Tinley, Lamont, T of South, Oak Forest to finish it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to be ready, you know, and that's why last week's game. Uh, after the after the uh, thirty four to zero yep. win, I mean, we were like harping on the kids, like good win, but the mistakes we made in that game won't be good enough moving forward to you know come out as lucky as we did. So. Uh, the kids understand the pressure that we're putting on them, and they're, I think they'll ride to the occasion and be ready for whatever we throw at them. Yeah. You're having fun, man, right? This is definitely can't, fun. Can't, can't, you saw me when you come out I know, man. I mean, that's and we, we, we took some film of it, and Gerard's going to show it. There, and, and I mean, man, you're out there. You're in better shape than these kids. Yeah, got to be. <laughs> I have to be. Because every day I hear a mouth from one of these kids, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Pipe down, little guy. Google Marquise yeah. Cole, okay, man? Like, you're just a little kid now. <laughs> when I was your age, you still couldn't mess with That's me. That's right. <laughs> but it's no. a lot of fun, though. It's a lot of fun. And like I said earlier, you know, going out against those guys each week, you know, they see, you know, I tell them, oh, run the route this way or, you know, defend it this way. And they can actually see me so go out there it. and do it. And then they can get it visually. You know, some guys don't learn just by talking and listening. So actually see it being done, I think it helps out tremendously. Yeah, and that's not only, you could do it as a DB, you could do it as a receiver, running back, quarterback, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So that's a huge benefit, man. Mm -hmm. that, that's awesome. That, that is awesome. Well, you're making me look good, and Gerard knows this, our cameraman, because when the season started, I said, Hillcrest is going to be a playoff team. And people uh -huh. probably like, are, are you crazy, man? But I could just tell, because I've known you, I've I covered you as a player, I know the success you've had. Uh, professionally, and then I saw in that weight room, man, the respect and the number of kids out, man. I just knew that good things were going to happen here, man. It's, yeah. it's great to see because it's uh, this community is deserving, it. and it's always good to see a guy come back home and you know impart his wisdom and, and everything you have uh, to these kids, man. So that's awesome. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. And the, the guys are starting to buy into everything. And, you know, we might not get that respect each week. You know, we beat somebody, and the kids are like, man, they said, I can't believe we lost the Hillcrest. I'm like, good. Keep yeah. letting people say they can't believe it. <laughs> right. And we'll just keep winning games, and that'll be perfectly fine. They'll believe it afterwards. That's so, right. It's good, and the kids are really buying in, and they, we don't do the trash talking and all that. We piping down on all that. So it's been really fun out here with these kids. Yep. All right, well, Marquise, I, I appreciate you coming on board, Thanks man. Continued me, man. success, man, Thank all right, you. the rest appreciate of the season. It. And uh, we are going to go to Elisa Thomas Salon time out. When we return, Hillcrest Jr. running back, Marcus Garrett, he's up next on the Coach's Corner Show. Stay tuned. make one first impression. So make sure it's a good one with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club, where it's fun and affordable to get the latest trends. Girls, head to the salon and get pampered for only $27. Guys, get the cut and style you've always wanted for only 17 bucks. Or try out our other salon services. It's time to get noticed. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. Your style, perfect style. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blonde has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Our next guest, junior running back, Marcus Garrett. How's it going, Marcus? Good. Thanks for coming on board. Also, should mention you play a little hoops. Averaged about 13, 14 a game last year for the Hawks and Don Houston. But, all right, my man, 0-9 last year. You were up on the varsity as a sophomore. You're 4-0 this year. What has been the big difference this season from last? Um, working hard outside and in, in the building. Yep. Um, discipline. Um, Queese having us in the weight room and listening. 
everything <laughs> like that. Um, what what has Coach Cole done that has just generated this type of excitement among the students? You know, to, to come out for football and listen to him and. Now you guys are a whole different team, man. Well, what's been the key? Uh, he hold us accountable. Um, you guys can't get away with anything, right? I mean, he, he's on you pretty much. Yeah. Watching you guys. Everything we do, yeah, hold us accountable. We run for it at the beginning of our practice. We're on the baseball field a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So. And what what do you think attracted like your your peers, man, to these students that hadn't played football for you know their first couple of years, and now they're coming out wanting to play football, um, man. It come, coming out because Quise was in the NFL and all that and thinking it's going to change everything and it's working well right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he has. And we should mention you got a little brother. He's a freshman, right? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Montez. Montez. And he's kind of like an athlete. Play a little QB, running back, receiver, wherever. Yeah. Harry's pretty talented. They got him up on the sophomores. Um, and what's it been like at school, man? You guys win four straight games. Is a lot of excitement in school? Or are people getting behind the, the football program now or what? Uh, yes. Teachers treating us nicer in the building. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> students talking about it. Man, yeah, feel good. So big difference from last year, yeah. huh? Big way, difference. Way, big. way different, huh? Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, man? Uh, the way you guys are they're going right now, what do you think this team is capable of achieving? Um, playing hard week by week. We're about week by week. Like, uh, you're not looking ahead, right? Yeah, we're not looking ahead week by week. Like, just playing. Week just week. playing, taking it, taking a game at a time. Yeah. But you believe that this team is it is a playoff caliber team, yeah, all right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. What is? What do you think? What, what's been Coach Cole's biggest impact? What have you learned most from having him as your coach? Um, Tough one. Yeah. Discipline. Uh, yeah, discipline. Having fun. Yeah, having right? fun. You're having fun, man. Yeah. I mean. You know, I mean, there are not too many football players, I don't care, not even in this area, I'm talking throughout the state, that have a coach that played in the NFL, and he goes out there, and he, he whips your butts, man, when he's out there. Yeah. Right? Pretty talented yeah. guy. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's huge, man. Um, and I remember talking to you over the summer. You said you were considering not coming out for football. You're just going to concentrate on hoops. Mm -hmm. And then um, – you decided to come out and play football. How happy are you that you, you stuck it out, man, and are playing football? Uh, I'm very happy because coming out, uh, get a lot of guys to come out and be a leader yep. on the field. Yep. Mm. And uh, I'm getting something going. Getting something going yeah. here, man. It's it's fun. I mean, it's nice to be like the, the basketball program, and you walk into something, and it's it's successful. But here, you guys have had to turn this whole program around. I mean, pretty gratifying to be a part of a uh, a turnaround, isn't it? Yeah. A little different feeling, but it's still a nice feeling, right? Mm hmm Yep. All right, man. Well, good luck the rest of this season. But take it easy. I told you, it's my alma mater, Eisenhower, this week. It's homecoming here yeah. at Hillcrest. You guys take it easy on my guys a little bit, all right? All right. <laughs> no, Gerard's like, no, 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 no. All right. Marcus, thank you very much, okay? Good luck the rest of the yes, season, sir. and we'll see you during hoop season, too, okay? Okay. All right, folks, we are going to go to an athletics timeout. When we return, we're going to have the standard bank text poll question of the week. Chance to win a $50 gift card. It will have a little Hillcrest flavor, all right, for this one. And then we're going to have players of the week and some results, so stay tuned. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics, where every patient is treated like a champion. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids, who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick.
Standard Bank & Trust, we believe that choosing a community bank and finding the latest conveniences are not mutually exclusive. You can have both. We strive to give our customers value and convenience, like online banking with mobile deposit, so you can bank anywhere, anytime, and competitive rates on mortgage and home equity loans. At Standard Bank, you'll find services that fit your lifestyle and people you know. We're Standard Bank, in your neighborhood. Hello and welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Okay folks, before we get to the Standard Bank text poll question, I want to uh, give a shout out to Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island. Okay folks, he's making a tremendous offer for all Coach's Corner viewers. Alright, you go in and get some body work done on your automobile, he's going to detail your entire car free of charge. You want to go in and get some uh, mechanical work on your car, tune up, whatever, he's going to throw in an oil change for you free of charge. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island, where it's always 82 and sunny, folks. All right, Standard Bank Text Bowl question of the week, sponsored by Standard Bank, obviously. Chance to win a $50 gift card if you answer the question correctly. Here is our question this week. Where did Marquise Cole, head coach of Hillcrest High School, play college football? All right? Text A for Northwestern, B for Illinois, C for USC, D for Purdue. Text your answer, A, B, C, or D, to 708-365-8501. Texter number four with the correct response wins a $50 gift card. Compliments of Standard Bank, multiple local branches throughout the south suburbs for your convenience. Commercial, residential, Standard Bank has all your banking needs. All right, results segment sponsored by Athletics sports and rehabilitation therapy. Our good buddy Tom Mulvey. Mount Carmel 35, St. Rita 14 for St. Rita. Joe Dewanko, 30-yard interception return for a score. Marcel Mondesir, 53-yard interception return for a score. For the Mustangs who are 1-3. For Mount Carmel, A.J. Reese, 170 yards rushing and a score. A.J. Lewis had a couple touchdowns. Terrell Greer had a 70-yard interception return for a touchdown for the 4-0 Caravan. Game I was at, Richards 28, Revis 13 for Revis, Khalid Norvell 17 carries, 125 yards and a TD, Travis Lazuski a 35-yard touchdown run for the Rams. For Richards, Jake Moran 6-13, 126 yards passing, two touchdowns, Pat Doyle had 19 carries for 108 yards and a score, Noah Petro with a 50-yard TD reception, and Jared Moore with a 7-yard TD reception for the Bulldogs who are now 2-2. Two and two. Brother Rice 46, St. Francis 33 for Rice, Xavier Valade, 17-yard TD run, Julian Blaine had touchdown runs of 18 and 25 yards, Clifton Taylor had 24 carries, 136 yards, Cam Miller was 18 of 26 for 180 yards and two scores, and Brian Olson had two interceptions for the Crusaders, who are 3-1. and one. Hillcrest 34, TF North. Nothing for TF North. Anthony Watkins had 22 carries for 119 yards. For Hillcrest, Marcus Garrett, 19 carries, 89 yards, two touchdowns. Aaron McCaskill had two touchdown passes. Cameron Ottman, 35-yard TD reception. And David Gatlin with a 36-yard TD reception for the Hawks, who host Eisenhower. 3-1 and one Eisenhower, Friday night, right here. HF 60, Joliet Central, nothing for HF. Bryce Gray, four touchdown passes. Deontay Harley Hampton had touchdown runs of 21 and 68 yards. Tyrese Ritchie, 44 yard TD reception. Kendrick Pryor, a 48 yard TD reception for the Vikings, who are 4 and 0. All right, the Labriola Bakery Cafe, Golden Baguette Player of the Week. St. Lawrence running back, Faison Smart. 213 yards rushing and five touchdowns to lead the Vikings to a 70. You heard me correctly, 70 to 40 win over Bishop McNamara. We're gonna hook up Faison with a nice $25 gift card. Compliments of Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook and Streeterville in Chicago. The Lisa Thomas Salon, Teen Club Player of the Week, Shepherd Volleyball's Caroline Graham dished out a school record 43 assists to lead the Astros to a 25-12, 24-26, 25-8 win over Tia South for her efforts. We're going to hook her up with a nice goodie bag. Compliments to Lisa Thomas Slime, little gift card action, some hair product, all kinds of good stuff. All right, folks, and remember, Lisa Thomas Slime, Orland Park and Tinley Park, soon to open up a location in Mokina. 
All right, we are gonna go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout. When we return, high and tight, stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. You can only make one first impression. So make sure it's a good one with the Lisa Thomas Salon Teen Club, where it's fun and affordable to get the latest trends. Girls, head to the salon and get pampered for only $27. Guys, get the cut and style you've always wanted for only $17. Or try out our other salon services. It's time to get noticed. Only at Lisa Thomas Salon. Your style, perfect style. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warnick Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza, Yummy in the Tummy. All right, high and tight, folks. Listen to these scores. F high school football scores, 62 nothing, 60 to nothing, 70 to 40, 50 to nothing, 50 to 13. Those are final scores, local final scores, just from last week. Last week. Now, you can look at this two ways. There's some really, really good football teams, and there are some really, really bad football teams. That's probably the case in many of these instances. However, Got to think, can you call off the dogs a little bit, man? You know, you get to that you get to that running clock, 40 points. Get the second string in, man. Get the third string in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, beating teams by 50, 60 points. Man. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.